Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Cars. Welcome to the next track guide and setup. Here we are at Imola. So, well, uh, Imola is known to be a very curb-heavy track. A lot of curbs, very high curb sausage curbs that you can take and sometimes you can't take. So I'll show you what you can do and what you can't do in this track. Uh, at the same time, uh, the track limits here are a little bit wonky compared to last year. Uh, this year, somehow, even if you're on the white line, it invalidates your lap time. So definitely there's two, three more tents to be found here if we are lucky. But anyway, uh, once again, uh, very quickly, thank you to all channel members, subscribers, and in Patreon as well uh, for bringing us where we are. Let's get into the track guide first. So to start off your lap here in Imola, you want to be breaking right around 75 meters, right before the DHL board, or whichever you prefer. It's the same way you end your lap and you start your lap. Uh, the only difference is sometimes on this inside curb, you can take a little bit more or less depending on the setup. But yeah, on the exit here, use all the curb, keep your car straight, keep your car tight to the right hand side to minimize track distance to start your lap. Open up BRS, make sure you don't forget that. And uh, this lap time is against a high downforce, against a low downforce one. So you can see we lose a little bit of time and now into turn one, as the curb starts, that's where you'll be breaking in a straight line. Break a little bit onto the curb because the track turns away from you at the start. Down to fifth gear for turn one or even fourth if you need. And take a lot of the inside curb here. Surprisingly, <coughs> excuse me, surprisingly you can take quite a bit of this sausage curb for turn one, but make sure you're not applying too much throttle. Otherwise the car will bottom out. Same for turn two. You can take a lot of the curb but for turn two avoid taking the sausage curb so take a lot of that uh the italian painted curb here all right and then your right hand has to be pretty high on the rear otherwise you won't be able to take these curbs here same for turn three uh, you can take the curb but you know try not to take the sausage and now into turn four you want to be turning as you hit the 50 meter board right before this uh, italian curb ends and then uh, down to six gear and you want to keep a little bit of throttle still in for the momentum here and we're going to be going through like mini sectors here let's see uh, you're pretty much pointing towards the curb and now just a moment later once you are on this exit road break a little bit and downshift to fifth or fourth gear and take a lot of the night uh, the right hander here turn five this will allow you to open up the exit it's surprisingly doable. And now, heading into the end of sector one, we arrive at the Tosa Hairpin. And uh, you want to be break, be breaking at the 50 meter board. And then uh, down to third gear for the apex. Stay tight on the entry and let the car run right on the exit. It gains you a lot of time if you pick up the throttle quite early. And now, heading into Piratella. A 50 meter board is your braking and turning in point. You just need to brake a little bit. Sometimes you don't even need to brake. It's just uh, downshift and uh, turn the car in. So I just tap the brakes and turn in. Take quite a bit of the curb, but avoiding the yellow sausage again here. And then on the exit, use all the exit. And now into Aqua Minerali. As the curb on the right hand side is about to end, that's where you want to start to brake and let your car drift outwards as you're braking and let's see how we do this part so momentarily you're going to be straight here and then uh, down to third gear or fourth gear for the next right hander it's a bit uphill and off cambered so your car will be feeling a little bit loose here so be prepared to counter steer but you know if your setup is well balanced you don't need to do so now on the exit here you can see um, you know trying to use as much exit curb as possible but this track limits in this track is a bit wonky so be careful with that now heading into the uh Villeneuve chicane is it the Villeneuve chicane no sorry we're in the alta uh, i think the last chicane here uh yeah brake at 50 and this is where you want to increase your brake bias and launch the car over this right hand curb take as much as you can and then apply a little bit of throttle as you are going through the chicane to maintain a good momentum and carry good amount of exit speed same thing on the left hand side you can take quite a bit of the yellow sausage curb also apparently but you need to minimize your steering angle let the car run wide use all the exit curb be careful with the track limits again it's a bit wonky there 
and now down to the final corner again similar to how you start your lap this is how you're going to end your lap as well break around 75 meter board of 70 60 which i prefer and you can take quite a bit of the curb again like i said there's two different ways to take it on the exit be careful not to hit too much of the inside curb and across the line look short and sweet around imola a lot of corners a lot of chicanes here a lot of curbs so you know it's a lot of skill involved and at the same time a little bit of luck involved as well so if you feel like this track is trying to kill you well you're not alone <laughs> anyway uh, if you would like to check out any other track guide and setup that we have on the channel so far links in the description and also in the top right i have a playlist of all the tracks that i've done so far and also the uh, overall track guide for this game and now let's get into the setup 45 30 wing uh, i'd consider this as my high downforce wing around here uh, i've also tried 50 35 which gives me the same top speed because drs is quite efficient around here and uh, you gain probably a tenth or two at most in the corners so i'd say it's not really useful to go too high you can run lower than this around 40 on the front and 25 on the rear i found to be a very good amount for the race and then uh, transmission you can go to 90 on throttle i feel this is pretty good for imola 100 gives me a little bit of understeer on exit especially where the corners here are tight and well tight and fast so 90 80 gives me a good balance in the high speed corners 90 or 100 gives you a good exit on slower corners uh, zero uh, well not zero minimum or 10 percent off throttle to let the car rotate and 100 percent engine braking for maximum ers recharge and quicker turn in uh, minimum camber minimum toe as usual not much to talk about here there's no point changing it uh, things that you can change though is the suspension so 35 on the front suspension to soften it a little bit so that it absorbs the curbs a little bit better and with that i have raised the right hand a little bit to 25. Uh, normally i started with uh, 41 front suspension with 20 right height yeah 21 22 right height i think yeah 22 right hand and then i just soften the front a little bit and increase the front right hand to give you about the same uh, cornering performance at the same time giving you a little bit more survivability on the curbs uh, same thing on the rear suspension i've gone for five on the rear to stop it from moving too much in high speed uh, but at the same time it's not going to kill me 70 on the rear right height gives you good clearance over all the curbs here if you want to take it by choice or by accident and then anti roll bar 21 18 is what i'm comfortable with you can even go 21 on the rear to give you a little bit more rotation and now we head into the brake pressure 100 percent as usual and 53 brake bias for all corners you can use 55 or 56 for uh, the variante alta the last chicane uh, the one you have to launch over the big curbs it helps to keep the car stable there and then finally we will be heading into the tire pressures in a moment excuse me there you go maximum tire pressures to minimize overheating in this race because you are using the softest tires and there you go i will leave you with the full speed hot lap to enjoy and uh, leave a like subscribe the usual things uh, join the channel as a channel member if you love what we're doing over here or in patreon and i'll see you in the next one which will be baku for the real life gp in a in a day or two so see you there bye